Welcome back to X Hanky Lifestyle TV. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to be making French toast. Okay, to start with, crack four eggs into a bowl. Be sure to crack the eggs on a uh, flat surface, it makes it easier and uh, less likely you're going to get some eggshell in there, although I've probably got some eggshell in there. <sighs> Next, we're going to prepare a cup of milk. In it goes. Now beat it, beat it up. You can use a, uh, you know, a whisk if you like for this, but I find using a, a fork is much better, it's much easier to break the egg up. Now mix that until the, the egg and the milk are well mixed together, like so. Okay, now we'll prepare the bread. Um, I'm just using normal bread here. You could use uh, a French, French bread or uh, some other kind of bread you, that you, you whatever you prefer really. Uh, I like to cut these in, in half first. It makes it easier to cook them. Um, so yeah, so first of all we'll go through and we'll cut, we'll, I've got about 12, I think 12 or 14 slices here. It'll make around 20, 26 uh, pieces of French toast. There we go. Don't have to stack them like that, but it does pay to stack them. Okay, now over to the oven. Prepping the pan, you can use butter here if you like. Uh, butter is quite nice for pancakes. Uh, I prefer to use olive oil for all my cooking really, so I only use butter sparingly. So uh, a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan and we'll get it on the go. So this is a simple procedure. You basically just need to take each slice of bread, dip it in the egg mixture like so, and then straight into the pan. I try and maximize the usage of space in the pan. I get three or sometimes four in there at once when they're cooking. So uh, now it's usually, I usually cook these about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. And then flip them over. <sighs> and you're aiming for that nice golden brown consistency with a, just a little bit of caramelization on the surface there. Keep them on the move. And do like so for uh, until you've run, either run out of batter or you've run out of bread. And then out of the pan and just onto a uh, serving plate. You can serve them straight from there. I use a little bit of oil between each, um, each set of uh, bread. And now comes the second batch. You can make French toast with, uh, you know, sweet ingredients or savoury. Uh, in my house, we prefer it a little bit savoury, so that's why I keep the, the French toast itself very, very simple. Um, but you could you could put um, um, more sugar, some sugar or something similar in the mixture there, and uh, make yourself sweet French toast. But I'd recommend keeping it simple. Uh, just try this very very simple recipe. It's maybe it's equivalent to something like pancakes So with the uh, French toast um, I like to serve it because it's a savory style French toast um, I tend to like to serve it with uh, some bacon or some sausages I think that today I'm going to be doing uh, I'll do, do some bacon some rashes of bacon are great um, and I usually grill those. It re reduces the fat as much as you can with the bacon. Do 
do the same with the sausages. So the sausages are basically, um, I half cook those and uh, slice them in half and then grill them. And uh, that helps uh, reduce some of the fat in the sausages as well. And there we go. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, I'm Jeff, and I'll see you in the next one.